Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at the MIDI tracks of the Digitact. The Digitact offers you 8 MIDI tracks and each of these tracks can be assigned to a different MIDI channel. They've got MIDI CC values where you can automate them and each of them offers you a MIDI LFO. And these tracks are polyphonic, meaning that each of the MIDI track steps in the sequencer can hold up to 4 notes. So you can make polyphonic chords and whatnot. So, the MIDI tracks are controlling the Abyss synth, the bass station, and also the, the poly and drum beaters. That's the, uh, the Abyss one, bass station, and these three MIDI tracks are the little toms and the bong. So let's go to the bong track and put some steps into the sequence, something like this, and press play. Let's go to the other tom tracks and add more tricks into the sequence. Let's mute those tracks for now. So the OP1's MIDI output is going into the Digitax MIDI input. Uh, by setting it up like this, I can control the MIDI tracks of the Digitact as well as the audio tracks uh, via the OP1. So, for example, I can go into the step mode and press a, hold a step and press a chord, and the screen will display what chord I've assigned to that step. So, I can. So, you can build up your chords like this very easy, and you can also do it in real time recording mode. So, let's try that. Go to the next MIDI track, which controls the bass station, and put some notes into the sequencer. Let's uh, mute the Abyss track and focus on the, the bass station sequence here. Well, what we can do is we have the program change value where we can actually um, automate the patches. So on this step, I can assign to play a different patch and then the base station will follow that. So I can assign different patches per step. This will breathe new life into existing gear. As you can hear, it can get really interesting very quickly. I can also uh, assign um, trick conditions to these steps. So I can hold these two steps and say, yeah, I wanna have 75% uh, yeah, chance of triggering these steps. You know, put all these steps and say, yeah, I want to have them triggered every second time out of two. And you get some interesting stuff like this. You can also set each of these tracks into a different step length. So this track can be running at 14 steps, for example, while the other tracks are running at different steps. So you can easily create polyrhythmic, polymetric stuff on the Digitac. On this MIDI track, I have the analog heat assigned. Let's turn the analog heat on. And I have a MIDI CC value here, which controls the filter of the heat. And as each of the MIDI tracks offers you um, an LFO, I can assign the LFO to that. And of course, this can be locked in the sequencer. You can even automate the, all the LFO parameters and your CC values as you wish. It's totally possible to do that. Now let's unmute the, um, the Abyss track as well. And we have another MIDI track here which actually controls the video. So I can actually put some steps in and they will be triggering. These are like at this snare hits. But because the video processing is a bit, has a bit of a latency, I can use a micro-timing micro -timing feature to remedy that. So I can hold the steps and go nudge them a bit back. And now they're right on time. I also have another value here, which is controlling the distortion effect or the VHS distortion effect of the video. So I can put some steps and I can automate that also. 
and maybe we can put back in the, the toms into the mix as well. So that's the Digitact and you've just seen the MIDI tracks in action. If you want to find out more about the Digitact, you can head over to electron.se. Thank you for watching.